Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve day 24 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. Problem number 1493, longest sub array of ones after deleting one element. We have given a binary array nums. You should delete one element from it. We have to return the size of the longest known empty sub array containing only ones in the resulting array. And we have to return zero if there is no such sub array so now see example number one 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 zero one right so we can delete one element from it so let's say i have deleted this zero right so now the longest known empty sub array containing all ones is three right so after deleting the number in position two one 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 we are going to get this it contains three numbers with the value of ones so three is output right same way here example number three all ones are there right you must delete one element but this is given right you must delete one element so that is why the output for this one is going to be uh, two only right clear now see this uh here in this if you delete this this zero so now if you start from here and until here so you are going to get total one two three four five five ones right so output is five right so you should should delete one element from it so this is given to us so that is why here in example three my output is two all right so now how we are going to solve this problem so these are the constants so here since we are talking about the different sub arrays right so definitely the first thing that should come to mind is sliding window approach right so let's try to solve this problem using sliding windows we have solved many problems using sliding window in the past right and whenever the problems ask for the longest sub arrays of ones okay problems like this so always think about sliding window right because we are discussing about windows like in this window or in this window the max or minimum some product or count right windows so definitely sliding window should come to your mind first in such type of problems right so now how i'm going to solve this problem using sliding window so let's take this example number two right so here uh, i'm going to take two pointers one is left and one is right so my left here put uh, left here and right here okay done and we have to also count the number of zeros right because here if you see in example number one i'm just deleting the zero right and if there is only one zero right so i can delete it but if there are two zeros then i can't take that window right in in my window of all ones i can have at most one zero right but not more than one right so i will also count the zeros so initially zero count is zero let's say right okay and the length we have to return the max length okay so initially let's say my max length is also zero all right so now what i'm going to do uh, here my r is at this position okay and nums at r index values zero right so i am going to increment the count of zero right so here i have incremented the count of zero to one okay done now my zero is still not greater than one right so i can take this zero in my window right since count of zero is not greater than one so now my r is going to move to the next position so my r is going to move here right okay so same way here uh in this uh what is the length okay previously your r is here right previously your r is here so you have uh, counted zero is equal to one right this is done right now max length until now so max length is zero and here if you see uh it is also zero only right right minus left right minus left only we need to do right window length is right minus left plus one but we must delete one element so we subtract one right so here if your window has three elements right uh, let's say one two three right let's say your window has three elements so here uh, in this window uh, this is zero index let's say one next two index right now what is the size of this window let's say window starting from here ending at this position so size of this window you can say is right minus left plus one right so here right is at two left is zero so two minus zero plus one two minus zero plus one is equal to three but we must delete one element right so if i delete one element i will get two so here uh, instead of r minus l plus one i will simply say r minus l okay this is going to give me two only right okay so here window length is right minus left plus one but we must delete one element so we subtract one from it okay so that's the reason so here right now window length is zero only right let's say this is my window that i'm checking and i have deleted this okay now next time my r is going to move here <coughs> okay r is moving here now at this position we have one so zero is going to remain one and my zero uh, count is still not greater than one right and this window is also valid 0 1 so what is the length of this window i'm going to take uh, right is 1 and left is 0 1 minus 0 right so i will say 1 so here i will update max length as 1 right because 
instead of taking 0 1 uh, total window length is 2 i'm taking 1 only because we have to treat one element as well right so here that is why r minus 1 r minus l only i'm using not r minus l plus 1 okay so this is done now again your r is going to move forward r is moving here all right so here in this uh, 0 is still uh, 1 only right and 0 is not greater than 1 so and the window uh, uh, the length of this window is 2 so here i'm going to update it as 2 okay now next time your r is going to move here right and still 0 is going to 1 only right and 0 is not greater than 1 right so we don't need to shrink it and max length is going to become 3 now right max length is 3 now next time again your r is going to move forward right so now see carefully your r it is here right so now we have here 0 so now 0's count is going to become 2 all right so now my 0 count is becoming 2 right so I can't take this complete sub array. I can't take this because in this I have two zeros, right? I want my sub array of only ones, right? Okay, because and I can delete one zero from it. Okay, so what I need to do now, my zero count is becoming greater than one. So now I'm going to shrink this window. So my L is going to move forward. L is going to reach to this position. And when my L is going to reach to this position, my zero count, zero frequency is going to reduce to one, right? And I have to stop now because I can have one zero at most, right? So now what is the size of this window? If you see, l uh, 4 4 minus 1 3 only okay that's it so now next time your r is going to move here so i have only one zero so i this is valid window right this is valid window so what is the size of this 5 minus 1 4 right i'm taking 4 because i have to delete one zero right so max length is 4 here done now next time my r is going to move here and this is also one valid window right this is also one valid window 6 minus 1 size is 5 max length all right so max length is 5 here this is done now next time my r is going to move to the next position r is going to move here and here now you see uh, we have zero so zero frequency is going to change it to two right zero frequency becomes two now here i can't take this complete window right because i have two zeros i can date at most one but uh, still there is one zero left then right and my sub doesn't contain all ones then right so i have to shrink the window now so to shrink the window what i need to do my l is going to move forward right so here my l is going to move forward so first my l goes here right first my l goes here still my zero is two only then my l goes here still my zero is two only then my l reaches here okay and then still my l uh, zero is two then when my l is going to reach here now my zeros count is going to be reduced right so now my zero is going to become one right so now my zero is going to become one and what is the size of this uh window then r minus l is two two is greater than five no so five is the max length right then your r is going to move forward r it is here so this is also one value window 8 minus 5 3 3 is greater than 5 no right then my r is going to go out of vault right and i have to stop that's it so max length what i'm going to get here is 5 5 is my output that's it so this is how we are going to solve this problem okay so now let's write the code very simple nothing complex here right so here what you need to do first take one pointer int left is equal to 0 and here int 0 is equal to 0 and here int max length and set it to zero then here you have to run one loop for int right is equal to zero right is less than here you can say nums dot length and here right plus plus and here inside this if uh, nums at this right index if this value is equal to zero then zeros zeros plus plus okay and that's it here and then after that we have to shrink the window if more than one zero so here i will just run one while loop while zeros is greater than one okay and here if nums of left value if it is equal to zero then in that case zeros minus minus this is what we need to do and left plus plus so this we have to do until my zeros becomes uh equal to one or less than one okay so it should not be greater than one so if it becomes equal to one then we have to stop right so now after that window length is a right minus left plus one but we must delete one element so sub we are going to subtract one from it so that is why here i am going to write max length is equal to math dot max of max length and here i'm just going to write right minus left okay this is done and in the end here we have to just simply return what max length that's it now let me just 
format the code so that's it okay so only 22 lines of code now let's run it and see if there any code issue we'll try to fix that so see all oh, the test cases has been accepted right now let's submit it and the time complexity for this problem is going to be of n since we are iterating over all the elements of nums right so here right is moving from 0 to n only right and uh, left we are only moving when we have zeros greater than one right so in uh, total we are just covering all the elements in my nums array right so that's what i can say so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in the comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye